Hey guys. Um, I'm not gonna let this run because I wanna I wanna hold the little message on the screen for as long as I can. Um, before I get going, I um, am going to show off my fish farm for Minecraft 1.19 to Java Valhazia 5 beta. I've got um, it set up so it displays what's happening with our fish farm. And the catch of the day, there we go, three landed fish, one puffer fish, one cod. It takes 10 minutes for the boat to come back in, into port, into the dock. So, probably won't get to see this again before I finish the video. But, because um, it would be very brief, it's pretty simple, I think. But um, you can see there, last time we came in, that's what we got. It does the fishing loot table without all the extra nonsense. It just does the fish. I haven't seen any tropical fish, if you want to look at that. But um, um, I don't know. I never say never, I suppose. But uh, it's pretty rare, uh, even for the normal fishing. And I've never seen it here yet. But I, I don't know if it's possible. All right, so what have we got? Um, you can see a little tugboat, a steam tug, and um, auto fishing barge. These are from Little Logistics. They're pretty easy to set to get uh, set up and get together. You link them to you put the barge and the tug, and you link them together, and you provide um, these docks for your tug and your barge and the hoppers, so the the barge is set to drop off point, so it drops it, and the tug comes into the barge. Uh, the barge comes into the the barge comes into the dock, it drops its stuff in the hopper. And for this one, it takes stuff from our hopper. In this case, fuel for our steam tug. It's on a path. You set a path or waypoints. I think I could, probably could have done better. You want to try and keep the fishing nets down like this. See how they're down? They'll pop back up again if um, it can't be fishing for some reason. Like... Um, knocked into a wall, shallow, you've fished there too much, apparently, and um, so I'm, I, I missed the, I deleted the waypoints of the system, is a little bit tricky to set up actually, um, you have to be careful about where you're placing, placing them, and I deleted a couple of waypoints, so I probably could have done a little bit better, see the nets up here, um, probably, but it's not too bad, I don't think, for the size, you really want a proper ocean, this, this little tank simulation of an ocean is... A little on the up to your side, so uh, and it's not so great. I think you want big ocean and and have it sailing three times as much as it is. Um, so for the full ten minutes, doing a, a big circuit around open water rather than coming in, uh, it does this multiple times. This little circuit multiple times before it run, um, decides it wants, wants to come back and get fuel and drop off what it's fished. It doesn't do that until it picks up a new fuel for some reason. Um, yes. Um, so that's all neat. Um, and that's all there is to it. It does it all by itself. I'll, I'll, um, the, f the catch of the day code is pretty similar. It just uh, finds out what's going on in this um, chest here as a peripheral, which you can attach to because it's directly... There, it doesn't need to be on the network or anything. You can just um, attach on that side and it picks it up, which is really handy. And um, analyze the contents and output a record as soon as we say we're done with the content and they go out to where they need to be. Brilliant. Brilliant. Efficiency, oh, it doesn't seem very efficient to me, but it's using one charcoal every 10 minutes to get sometimes only one fish. Sometimes none. We were lucky before to get so many, I think. Um, but this is what you can do. Multiple tugs, another tug, and bigger oceans. Be better if you have a high demand system. So far, since the inception, I've gotten 46 raw seven slices, which are cut up from a cutting board um, from our raw salmon, so you get two of these slices per salmon. So I've only had uh, 
23 raw Simmons caught, which is not very many for how long it's been running. Um, six, 72, uh, 62 cod, raw cods and 48 land fish. These are, these are directly caught and 15 puff fish. I don't know what I'm going to do with the puff fish. You can't really do anything with them. They're just going to stay here. Oh dear. Anyway, as an added bonus, I've got a kelp farm here. It's really neat with it, the um, contraption being in the water. I had to do a couple of fixes once it started running to properly populate the water for the kelp to grow underneath it. But um, And if I stop it, I imagine it'll need that same repair on the water system uh, for those couple of squares. But uh, really quite amazing. It farms a lot of kelp. I had overrun until I had to um, create this processing plant to turn it into dry kelp blocks just to do something with the amount there's a crazy amount coming out of here um, I've got dry kelp I'm keeping half um, no keeping a th um, keeping keeping a third keeping a third of the um, Kelp, so lots and the kelp blocks, lots, 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 lots. Um, yes, and this will all be use of my sushi train dining experience, which I have just in the planning stages. Excellent. Um, I think that's all I want to cover. All right. Um, no, the, there's still got. Uh, 200 seconds on this before it'll come back into dock so we're not going to see what's caught this time unfortunately but anyway maybe next time thanks for watching